You know, this morning as we were worshiping, I felt a heaviness at the beginning anyway. I felt that people were a little heavy. And that's when I'm, you know, we had that little week. It kind of woke everybody up, right? And then I said about leaving your cares at the door. You don't want to bring your cares in here. I mean, you can go out this door when you leave if you want. You don't have to pick them up, right? You know something that doesn't have any matter but yet weighs a tremendous amount? It's care. You can't touch care, right? You can't put care in your pocket. You can't weigh care on a scale. But have you ever been weighed down by care? Have you ever been filled with care? Full of care? Careful? <laughs> so he says, be careful for nothing. That's what the word careful means. Full of care. Somebody says to you when you're leaving, take care. No thanks. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want any more cares than I already got. But he, Paul's giving, here's one man who's in prison and he's giving some, some believers who were afflicted, he's giving them a way to deal with care. Now, I don't know about you, but care strikes me most right here. It's in my mind, right? That's the battlefield, is our mind, our soul. It's the battlefield where we think through these things. And he says, um, don't be careful for it, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known. So when you get care, when care comes knocking on your door, care comes your way, you have some way to deal with it. You know, Jesus talked about worry or care. You know, he says, if you are full of care, if you worry, can you add one cubit to your stature? Let tomorrow worry about the things for tomorrow. And, but he says, prayer. He gives us something to do. Number one is prayer. The first thing he mentions is prayer. Do you take your cares to God in prayer? I know you, I know, you know that you should, but do you do that on a regular basis? When you have care, do you, do, do you take it to God in prayer? What's the old hymn? Well, uh, Take it to the Lord in prayer, right? You know, you could take it to your neighbor, you could take it to your friends, you can take it to your son or daughter, you can, you can take it to a lot of people. But taking the care to the Lord in prayer, that's one way you're not careful. Uh, that's way, one way you're not filled with care. And supplication, supplication is like a request. You know, when you come to God with your care, do you think that you take him by surprise? He knows what you have need of before you even ask. Jesus said, my Father in heaven knows what you already have need of. But pray. Now why does God do that? Why does he tell us to tell him something that he already knows? I mean, does he just want to hear it? Well, I think part of it is. You're part of it. I mean, God could just see every need that you're going to have in the future and just take care of it right now. Lickety split. It's done. But you are the one in the battleground, right? You're the one. God's not filled with care. God doesn't, God's not wringing His hands up in heaven saying, oh no, look what's going on down there. Look what Barbara's going through. I don't know how this is going to work out. God's not filled with care. So he gives us a way to do it. Supplication, prayer, with thanksgiving. Right? With thanksgiving. Now, when do you give the thanksgiving? After you've received it? No. Well, it doesn't really say there, does it? It says with it. So prayer and supplication are with the thanksgiving. He doesn't say prayer and supplication, then later on give thanks when you've seen that it's 100% a sure deal. Right? He says in James, you have not because you ask not. Do you want something from God? Ask for it. If you ask in Jesus' name, He'll give it to you. Now, you might, now right now, I could be going through your head, well, I can think of a thousand things that I could ask for that I probably wouldn't get. Well, is it according to the will of God? That's a good follow up one, isn't it? Is it according to the will of God? God, I need another pair of shoes. 
I got 458 pairs, but I really like that pair. That might not be the will of God for you. It may not be. I don't know. He might want you to have that 459th pair. But the point is, is that, is it to God's will? He says in 1 John, he says, if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. If we ask it according to His will, He hears us. And we know that if He hears us, we have the petition. I remember reading this testimony of, of, uh, of um, actually, it was, it was Howard Katz, reading Howard, some of his testimony. And he was saying, he used to pray and sit there and say, Lord, I just beg you, I plead with you, save so and so. Lord, please. I just, I'm, I'm asking you, Lord, and I'm, I'm, I'm pleading with you, save this person. And then he was done praying, another brother, brother said to him, hey, your prayers really tickle me. And he thought, that's an unusual way to say it. He could have said, your prayers really inspire me, or your prayers really encourage me. But he says, your prayers really tickle me. He says, what do you mean by tickle? He says, well, when you're asking God, you're pleading with God to do something He already wants to do. Right? That'd be like my son coming up to me, please, Daddy, let me clean my room. Please! I just ask you, let me clean my room. Let me obey you more. He doesn't have to ask me that, right? Well, when we think about praying according to God's will, you know, we, one thing I'll often do is, Lord, is this your will? You know, somebody will come up to you and it's, it, sometimes they'll do it like right before the meeting's going to start, one minute, 60 seconds. The piano's already playing and it's time to go. Hey, can you pray that this person will do this, this, and this for me? Well, no, I don't know. I, what do you mean? I, I don't know. Maybe they should be doing this, this, and that. You know, sometimes we got it all mapped out, right? We know what is going to solve the world's problems. If we just were in charge, we'd have this world cleaned up, right? If I was just the President of the United States, I'd fix this country. All right? And so they're asking you to pray for something, and, and I want some time. I'd like to pray about it to see if this is God's will before I start praying it out. Right? We have a right to do that. And so let your requests be made known to God. Pray according to His will. And He'll hear you. You know, there's an interesting verse in Proverbs that says that the prayer of the wicked is an abomination to God. That's right. The prayer of the wicked. You know, God hears the prayers of those that are in His family. His sons and His daughters. He says, but the prayer of the righteous is His delight. Amen. 